What's going on guys, Andy from Anik Fitness here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a great antagonistic workout for rock climbers. So if you're a rock climber, it's really important that you are also doing a lot of pushing work because doing lots and lots of pulling will make your body quite unbalanced and can cause postural issues rounding at the shoulders like so. So the workout that I've got for you today is only gonna be using the floor. You can also perform these exercises using parallettes, something like that it can help protect your wrists. But I hope you enjoy it. Please share it with your friends and I'll leave a PDF as well at the bottom of this video for you guys to print out and take along with you. But use this video as a general guide for how to perform each one and enjoy. Okay guys, to start out, I'm going to assume that you've done a bit of a warm up, that could be some jumping, jogging on the spot, something along those lines. To ease into things, we're going to start with some press ups, just going to do a set of 10 press ups, get used to that motion, warm the chest up a little bit. So what I want you to do is either take a, a full position or on your knees and just perform 10 press ups like so. What's important is we're performing this to the full range of motion. Performing about 10 press ups, like so. Okay, now that you're done, it's really important that we're putting as much force into the ground as we can on every press up. So, what we want to do is explode from the ground, really twist your hands in, and you'll get the most out of every single rep. So, the first exercise we're going to be doing are clapping press ups. What I want you to do is work in small sets. So the idea of a clap and press up is to explode off the ground as hard as you can. You might be able to do sort of sets of 10 uh, of sort of low force clap and press ups. But what I want you to do is really max out, okay? So we're gonna do a set of three clap and press ups like so. Okay, these are explosive and powerful. In the routine, I'm going to be putting in three sets of three. Take a good amount of rest in between. We're going to be putting in a lot more volume later on in the routine. So the next exercise I've got for you are Krishna push-ups. So, like the eight arms of Krishna, we're going to be doing one rep, there's going to be four press-ups. So, to perform this, you can perform these on your knees if you need to. What we do is we have our hands out in front of us like so. And the first press up is in front of us. Second, slightly to the body. The third, quite far out. And the fourth, right down beside the body. That's one round. Moving on from the Krishna push ups, we're going to be doing three rounds of wide press ups, okay? You're definitely going to be feeling this quite a lot in the center of your chest in order to perform these. It's going to be almost like the middle of the Krishna push-up, like so. So arms quite wide, and we're just going to press towards the ground, press up again, you can do these on your knees. What's important is that you're going through the full range of motion, like so. Okay guys, to finish off, we're going to be going with a classic press-up. So again, every press-up, really try to twist your hands, drive into the ground and squeeze your chest as you go up. So each rep to have a slow negative portion to it and then explode up, squeeze your arms in, down, squeeze, down, squeeze. You can do these on your knees, down, squeeze, down, squeeze. Excellent. We're going to do three sets of 12. Once you're done, you're definitely going to be feeling it. Take a second to cool down for some stretches. You can use some of the stretches from my flexibility routine that you can find on my website. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to share it with your friends and thanks for watching. <laughs> 